Welcome back, loyal subjects, to the King of Funk. And we are almost ready to end turn here in this Let's Play of Attila Total War. It's going to get crazy. Um, fugitive, let's um, grant him some asylum and see what happens. Hopefully it'll be a good thing. He's probably been sent here by an enemy. Oh, fuck. We're going to have a lot of uh, enemies coming our way. We're losing a lot of food, but luckily some of the provinces are making a bonus. So like ones like this one here are actually bringing in food to fuel the army, which is fantastic. God oh, fucking hell, there's rebels everywhere. This is going to be so difficult. Um, but what I'm really concerned with at the moment is taking Brigantium with one of these stacks and then moving south with the other stack to try and um, take back some of the territories that are lost. We probably need to make perhaps if we have a look here we've got a couple of armies coming against us there's one there let's have a look at the size of the oh we have a full garrison there which is fantastic right, I'm gonna build a new army right here I think um, oh political animal no oh, what's this integrity public order navy army food from the character that's fantastic master planner that guy's really good. Oh, that's one of our faction leaders. That's Flavius Stilico. It's a taskmaster getting bonuses. Integrity plus two. That's good. I'm going to go for the integrity one and raise an army. There. Let's see what we can build. Three of them. I don't think we'll get a chance to actually use them. We will certainly take them for a start as a couple of additional defensive units. If we look here. I mean, none of these two armies will be able to attack us within this turn, I'd imagine. But this one certainly will. And this is the war-hungry Visigoths. So I might even get myself the Germanic warbands. And if any of these have a... Nah. I was going to say a cheap upkeep. I would get it. We only need that for one turn, then we'll disband it. As simple as that. What we got here? <sighs> Could do with one unit of cavalry, you see to try and go out the build out the uh well, we don't have one that comes with it do we oh we do we have scout I will take two for now we'll see hopefully that will give us a huge bonus but what we also need is food we do need industries as well All right so we've got some fields in Rienna which is up here so we could do with 40 food from animals, if you don't mind. We're going to have to destroy this stack. Oh, bollocks. We've got this coming down. We're probably at war with them. We are at war with them. So we're going to have to defend quite a lot, I think. <sighs> Let's have a look to see what the garrison is like here. In uh, this particular province. No, it's not too bad, actually. We've only got one damaged uh, spears. We've got cohorts, explorators. We've got no missile units. So. But we do have a couple of uh, units there. Uh, Right, so this has walls, that's fine. Just making sure we've got 300 coins left now, and we'll, that'll probably have to do us. We could, if we wanted, play it safe and hire the warband, and that'll do us. And we'll just go for that. We've got 80, uh, we've got 80 coins left, so we're just gonna unassign skill here. Um, integrity, if you don't mind. And cunning and public order. Force dangerously low, dangerously low. That's going to starve to death soon, uh, Carfago. Like I said, we're just going to go and see if we can hold on to Spain, which I think is a very realistic thing. And we'll just have to see. We're going to have a few battles this turn. And we'll see where this goes. Hopefully it will come good. Oh, here we go. Yeah, we're definitely going to lose uh, the vast majority of our... Oh, we can't defend from that. If the garrison had uh, all been healed, we would have stood a chance defending the uh, central square. But we certainly can't do it. Let's see what they opt to do. Do they opt to raise the land and burn it to a, a cinder? Or do they actually opt to conquer it neither, which is... I don't know if that's a good or a bad thing. And these are the Rizzy Goths. Oh, no. Nah. 
they're actually opting to leave so we can disband that warband once this uh, turn finishes I thought we were going to have a certain battle there and we've got to quell those rebellions in Spian and then we have to we might we'll probably have a fight in a uh, western France during there that that stack there's those two stacks is that uh, one on boats and uh, oh yes I thanks for helping me out the Eastern Empire like good on yous thank you if they can break my siege there and hold on to that uh Right, so here we go. We're going to lose this one probably. We'll see how this goes. I shouldn't really be trying to hold on to all these territories. There's a couple that I want to hold on to. And there's also a few that I should just say, well, hold on a minute. We're not going to be able to realistically. Oh, look at that. I'm sure we're going to have a fight there with that one. It looks like we've managed to avoid it. Oh, here we go two more stacks isn't that beautiful what are they they can't be Caledonians I don't think they are I don't know where they're from actually it looks like a northern tribe right so there's nothing we can do here as well where are all these coming from we're gonna have some serious problems in Spain we really are gonna have to use the uh, we really are gonna have to use the peninsula um, as a bottleneck to stop them getting any further than a certain point and then hopefully get some armies together to expand south and quell the whole of Spain and keep it safe and we can snake round through Africa if we're lucky we're gonna have some sea... look at that would you look at that that's a lot of uh, enemy armies there's another one right there this is um... it's unbelievable I'll tell you that for now we are having a very hard time of it. The fall of the Roman Empire. It's actually fallen faster than the history. <laughs> that's that's the funny thing about it. We are falling faster than it fell in history. Because this will only be like 410 AD or something like that. The sooner we lose Italy, probably the better, because it's just taking up too much food. Oh, we come on, we must have a battle here. I'm surprised we went through it almost a whole turn without fighting a battle, so we're gonna. <laughs> this is going to be interesting when we, uh. Yeah, here we go. Now we've got battles on the go. And we'll have to decide which ones we're going to have to fight and which ones we can't defend from. Um, selected defences, available defences, selected because there's only one and that is a uh, tower defences there do we really have a chance at saving this? we probably have a small chance at saving this the last thing we really want, this is Carfago and Novo let's fight on the battle map, the map I don't think we really uh, I don't think we should abandon this one so easily every little uh, victory helps we are really severely disadvantaged here but we do get the uh, the catapults which is nice I've never had any defensive they've got two sets of catapults so <sighs> and loads of uh, crossbowmen so that's not too good is it that's gonna upset us a small amount and we'll probably end up having to fight a couple more of these sort of battles especially where the garrisons are strong and healed unlike this one which is quite damaged had, had we had a full garrison this would have been easily defended because that cavalry is quite useless they do have some really good infantry units there not quite sure what these ones are but let's see let's go at it and see hopefully these ballistas will uh, come in handy I've never used in a, a defensive battle before so I was about them apples I've never, I've never seen them in action these defensive uh, towers so we'll just have to be vigilant here we go 
Right, we can actually set this up. Oh, can we, we can actually put it there. There we go, isn't that nice? Nice little defensive uh, capabilities. It'll get destroyed straight away off the bat. I'm pleased about this though, we do have two good units here. Which is nice to know. And what we do with the rest of our troops is we put them here, except the cavalry, which will uh, go around the side. Maybe we should. Um, how much range does that have? It can fire straight away off the bat, but. That's a really shit range. We'll have to put it here. We really have no choice. So really sh oh no, that was the uh the range in which it cannot fire. Right, okay, we'll stick it down here. And hopefully, if I am right. There we go, and that goes stretches right round here. And that means it can continue to fire towards these lot. For quite some time. I think we'll do that. I think we'll bring the cavalry there, like I've said. And we'll try and get that round the side to destroy some of the uh, the other stuff. We do have a barricade option here. And what can we do? Now, barricades are shite though, that's the thing. <sighs> we'll stick that there. Okay. Let's start the battle. And see how this goes. Yes. And you never know, we might get some lucky shots off against these catapults. Which for some reason, I can't remember them having three per unit, but maybe that's just because I haven't played this for quite a long time. How do we keep this out of sight? Yeah, I know they do, they heavily outnumber us apparently. Let's bring them there. I'm gonna stick the old fast forward on. Dark tidings. Enemy forces have destroyed the gate. That's not good, is it? Because they've hardly popped any shots off whatsoever. Oh no, I'll say that, they're both almost down to half range. We are going to lose our tower by the looks of things. If we can hold on to one, that's always a massive bonus, I've always said that. Holding on to one tower is quite nice, but we're gonna have probably two openings in these walls. Oh my god! That one was a very poor volley. Let's have a look at the ammunition. Yeah, they're only gonna get probably at least two holes in the uh, in the walls by doing this. Which is nice. Yeah, look, this one's gonna fall. And I don't think they'll be able to do another one after that. And then we're gonna have to use our horses to try and take down these uh, catapultiers. There we go. Boom. And we're going to have to quickly... The walls are breached. Oh no, this one's... Some of these got quite a bit of ammunition left. But I suspect... Oh shit. Now we should be alright here. They'll probably take down the tower as well, which is sad. Let's see. I'm taking the time in firing, aren't they? Okay, still at 50. We have one more volley left. By the looks of things. Maybe not even all of them can fire. There we go. Oh, fuck off! I'll get you there. Get you here and get these spread out to the max. Well, at least we've only got two halls to deal with. That's what I really like. What the fuck's going on? So we can stretch that there. Take these all the way over here, 
and then we might. Oh shit! I'm an idiot, aren't I? But you were thinking all that time. What an idiot! Our general is being attacked. Keep him alive. I know. Don't you worry. Let's stick these on flame and shot. Ooh, ow. What are these units again? Oh shit, they look good. Stick that on uh, a more advanced form of... What the fuck, they're gonna actually push their way through here? That's just fucking stupid. Here we go. Can maybe take down all of these missile troops. Yeah, where did I put that barricade there? Good, because that would have been a really poor thing. Right, they're wavering. Yes. Right, we might stand a small chance here. These buggers have just gone down. Oh dear. Send these ones right into the mix. Oh shit. That's not good at all. That's really not good at all. Ah, oh, good. Oh shit, what are these not doing here? Right, get them sorted out, they should run in a second. Well, there's 25 of them apparently. I'll see you later. Nah, they're getting through. So we are going to lose this. What have we got here? Let's get the explorators in. Don't know how they're getting behind us so well. Alright, let's get all of these in here. See if we can do anything. We should have got these up here earlier. We really should have. Why on earth is that dropping? That's just fucking stupid. Faster if you don't mind, fellas. Because this here can uh, handle itself, the cohorts, I think. We've got some troops that are actually running out through the doors, which isn't good. Oh my god, how are they dying so fast? Okay. Why do they keep doing that? It's a. What's actually a shame is that they're not listening to my fucking orders. Alright, they're gone for good. All now we're doing really is just taking down as many as possible. Which may be a wise decision. Decisive defeat. Let's see how many we killed. Mm, we killed 350 of theirs. Not bad really. I mean, we have we got rid of one whole unit we, we hardly took care of any of the infantry unit which is sad but it's just the way it goes is it not it's just the way it goes oh we actually took, uh, got rid of one of the infantry units as well which is quite nice Right, we can't defend this one, there's actually, I don't think we have any chance here whatsoever. This is worse than before. I mean, what are these slingers? So we're going to lose the whole of uh, the south of Spain. Uh, it'll be reconquerable, I'm pretty sure about that. And here we go. I'm going to have to fight this one on the back battle map because it's just um, it's the only likely one that we can do 
Right, so we'll get inside and fight this one. I'm actually moving quite slow the computer at the moment, which is sad. So I do apologise for that. We'll probably be skipping data constantly throughout this recording. I hope not, but we'll see. It's just the way it is. Oh, we don't actually have any walls. Well, that is a pity. What we can do, however, is to try and use that tiny bit of cavalry that we've got to get rid of the artillery. I'm presuming with no walls they will charge headlong into us, but we'll just have to see. We will just have to see. Okay. Right, where are the enemy? They are here. Which is uh, quite funny, because we don't have any use for any of the... Uh, only these defences here. Hopefully they'll actually help. I'm glad that we, we have an update in which... Uh, these things actually count for a bit more than they used to. And what we'll do is we'll stick these right across there. <coughs> Pardon me. And that's uh, a pretty good setup, actually. Let's stick it on the old fast forward as well and see if we can get this ball rolling like a demon. We'll just have to see. Oh, they haven't seen my cavalry, have they? No. Right, what are they going to choose to attack with these uh, specific units? And we'll have to charge out and destroy that artillery. If we can. I'm hoping they won't all go this way automatically, but it looks like they are. If they do that, then we'll just have to... <laughs> Look at that. Look at the way these uh, scout equities are marching. Yeah, we're probably going to have to change our direction a little bit. Our it's an ambush. Right. Let's go for it. Oh, bollocks. I'm an idiot. Fuck's sake. Faster if you don't mind. I've made a bit of a clangor here. We should be able to get rid of the scout equities very easily. Right, yeah, these are going to get in and hopefully smash up these. Unless... <laughs> oh, none of them hit. That's brilliant. Right, these scout equities are doing my tits in. These should drop like sacks of shit. Yeah, they are. Yes, we're taking down the Onagers. Right, okay, let's just for a second. We're losing quite a few of these troops. These are only shaking, wavering. Apart from these two, which are going to go this way and take out the, the equities. The yeah, here we go. See, look at that. Just right back into it. Isn't that funny? I've used two come there. It's a pity that they didn't attack there because I would have really have liked to have defended from there. That's awful. Right, yeah, we got them too, which is nice. And we will go for flaming shot and aim for the general unit so it gives the best chance of going over the heads of our men. See, look at that. The bodyguard is wavering and he's fucking off. 
That's very good news. We might have a chance at winning this. Might have a chance indeed, but you'll have to find out in the next session, guys. So thanks for watching, and goodbye. <laughs>